Hi everyone, Katie here with the Wiseman Art Museum and welcome to Wham at Home. Over the course of the spring semester, the Wiseman collaborated with the University of Minnesota's College of Design apparel design program and 10 emerging fashion designers who studied the body of work of conceptual artist Harriet Bart and her retrospective exhibition presented at the Wiseman Art Museum, Harriet Bart, Abracadabra and Other Forms of Protection. The students were tasked with creating a one-of-a-kind garment using non-traditional materials that considered both the conceptual and material dimensions of protection and how that manifests in contemporary life. Over the course of eight weeks, the students prototyped, did material testing, sketched in the galleries, and conducted studio critique. And at the end, they created these beautiful one-of-a-kind garments that were to be presented in our ninth annual fashion show, Seven Forms. In light of the current COVID crisis, our plans have changed. But disappointment aside, these beautiful final works of art will be presented in a series of photo essays, artist statements, and concept boards. And today, I'm pleased to check in via Zoom with the artist who inspired the project from start to finish and to learn a little bit more about the method behind her magic, Harriet Bart. Thank you, Katie. So Harriet, in your recent artist talk, you noted that some of your earliest forms of making involved experimenting with cloth. Could you tell me a little bit more about those experiences and how they would go on to shape your artistic career? Uh, my mother was a skilled seamstress. She made all of my clothes. She started teaching me to work with cloth when I was about seven years old. We started with embroidery and moved to knitting, a little bit of crochet, and lastly, uh, sewing on a sewing machine. Uh, when I was 11, I made my first garment. It was a full circle skirt. Uh, I can still see it in my mind's eye. It was an abstract pattern in swirls of purple and blue. Because I grew up with cloth and various fabricating techniques, I was never intimidated by the materials. Working with fiber, working with fabric, was a safe way for me to begin my creative journey. It's amazing. And you are such a force to be reckoned with. And anybody that knows you knows that you have a very distinct aesthetic and fashion sense. Uh, can you tell us who and what are your muses? You know, the question is interesting because it really forced me to think about that. And again, I'm surprised, but I come back to my mother. My mother influenced me. She loved clothes and there was nothing timid about her sense of style. As an introvert, uh, I've always perceived the, the garment as a kind of armor. And you can see that in the exhibition. In my younger years, I was more inclined to experiment with color, texture, and shape. And I made most of my own clothes. As time passed, I became increasingly interested in the body and the garment as a form of sculpture. Color was a distraction. Uh, dressing in black was a very deliberate choice. Singularity of color allows me to focus on the shape, the texture, and the mood of the garment. So you spent the semester visiting with the students and giving them feedback and critique. Um, and so what was that process like having these students be inspired by your body of work and what can our audience expect to see? I loved working with the young designers. They actually made me think of myself when I was about their age. They're so inventive, they're imaginative. They work magically with difficult materials never intended for the making of garments. I think of the coffee filters, bubble wrap, recording tape, photographs, shower curtains are just some of the things that they used. I was touched and surprised by the depth of personal history they put into the garments that they created. Uh, I'm happy uh, to see what they've produced. And if my work encouraged them to dig deeper on a psychological level, I, that would please me a great deal. I think the audiences should expect to be surprised, impressed, 
but the depth of their innovation and their expression in their creations. I see good things ahead for these young designers. I'm excited by their work. Amazing. Thank you so much, Harriet, for all of your time and your creative energy. We appreciate you. And I want to say thank you also to the University of Minnesota's College of Design, to all of the designers, to our lead sponsor on this event, Jute Salon Spa, and to all of you WAM supporters for helping make the arts happen at WAM. Thank you, Katie. My pleasure. Thank you, Harriet.